Hey, what's going on, guys? So what we're going to be doing is another hell run. This time you can actually hear my mic because I can see it going off in the OBS. Uh, let's get ready and let's pop off. Make sure I got everything. Oh, you always want to make sure. If you do the um, season rewards, you get these right here. 100% increased crafting regents or regents. You want to make sure you pop one of those before you actually go into hell. And the reason for that is because you will actually uh, get more of the Relic Blessing drops because they're counting up re uh, as Regents. So you want to make sure you do that. And yeah, here we go. Oh, I forgot one more thing. Because Hell is such a long run, I always run one of these also. But I run it instead of the attack speed because that's like the least of my worries. Alright, let's go. Now I might not be able to push that far in this one just because of how much I hyper leveled in like the last... It took me about an hour and a half to get from 115T to 1.08 AA based off of the way I'm playing the game and what I'm doing and stuff so I don't know how I'm gonna do on hell tonight just because it's gonna scale with my level so we will see and hopefully I can get pretty far because I didn't upgrade my weapon or anything before this fight I just kinda wanna get the fight out the way um, when you're doing hell, like I said, you want to pop the, you want to have, I mean, it's always best to have the 40% increase item quantity, and then you want to have, uh, where is it at, where is it at, uh, the 100% increase rig and drop, because you want these right here, these right here make your weapons, your armor, <gasps> your rings, and your, uh, necklace so damn strong. Because it adds, a, the only affixes it doesn't add on to, the only affixes and prefixes is it doesn't add on to, is, uh, what is it, uh, is the, uh, attack speed and movement speed. If it added on to those, oh my god, I would love that so much more. But yeah, we're gonna be chilling right now, just running through hell. Um, don't forget to, uh, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know if you like seeing my hell runs and stuff like that. I love playing them. I love recording them, seeing how far I can actually get. Unfortunately, I didn't like max out my guy and stuff like that and do a whole bunch of crafting because I got to go and pure farm after this pretty much anyways because I'm running low on my relics again to be able to upgrade my gear. But I'm a, I'll show you after this like how high of a level I'm fighting right now. So you have a better idea of what I'm doing. And now the reason I switched out to uh, the mana arrow right here is because this mana arrow is actually helping me out. Even though it's not giving me the spread damage, I shoot so fast because I shoot at what 18, 16.5 uh, attacks points uh, per second when it's uh, on. Something like that. Hold on. Wait till it drops again. So 14.7. I'm not even running the highest you can go on like attack speed yet. Like this is my attack speed right now. I'm not even, I'm like my weapon's not even max. It's a 7-3 weapon, but it's the one I've been blessing since I started this character with only like, what, like 16, 17, 18. I started with 22 days left in the season because my mage died at rank three. So it's pretty much, now that I'm here, I'm going to actually be switching over to the attack speed and we're going to go in and fight them. So the thing is you want to wipe these guys first and then sit here and do this. The reason I'm, I can fire so far is because I have my, uh, what is it, I have my uh, range kind of getting maxed out because I'm testing something different, especially with force field. It's like I'm testing out to see like if range is good because I don't see the purpose in running like solitary and stuff like that or solitaire, whatever the hell it's called because that's never been one of those things to me. And the thing is I actually have to find another arrow. So let me upgrade my, or let me uh, update my filter real quick. I need to find 
uh, crit damage arrows now. So I don't care r pretty much what it is, but all right, on to the next one. We're gonna switch back to this right here. Make sure we're hitting all the buttons. All right, and now what I'm gonna do is push forward. I am looking for crit damage. I want the max amount of crit damage as I can get. As soon as I find a crit damage one, then I will switch over to it. The attack range is always nice, but you only get 10% of it, or 10 attack range. I want the crit damage now, now that I'm getting later on. I want as much damage as possible because my crit's running around 40%, 37.5% right now. What am I missing? I feel like I'm missing something here. I don't know. I, I don't think I'm missing anything. Huh. I don't know, but my uh, my crit is high enough now to where it's like I don't mind running the crit damage because I'll crit more often than not with 37.5%, especially if I'm attacking almost 16 times per second. <clears throat> and once I get the once I get the later on level. Uh, so here's the crit strike damage. So we're actually gonna pull that. We're gonna drop that. We're gonna pick this up. <clears throat> I'm gonna get one more because I think at, cause that, that one is one that I believe that actually does scale. The higher uh, levels you go, the more crit damage you'll get out of it. If not, then I'm just gonna push it forward real quick and then I'm gonna upgrade the, uh, mana find in it so we're just gonna push through this real quick as you see these potions right here I only use these potions when I'm running hell just so that way I can get as far as possible all right don't need that don't need that pick up those if I don't find one then I'm just gonna go and uh, Craft this one real quick and then come back and finish off hell. Now all my stuff I'm pumping into vitality at this point. It's like I normally do 3 to 1 or 4 to 1. But because of how high of a level I'm fighting at. I need to have the survivability. Once I have the survivability then I need to get the damage. Because the damage is what's going to make me level a lot faster. It's just you don't want to hop into a level and all of a sudden get hit like eight times and you're dead. You want to be able to at least be able to tank 15 hits to be able to TP out and stuff like that. So, so that's kind of what we're doing right now. And we're just pushing through hell, kind of chilling. And I didn't find one, so I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to switch this early. I'm gonna switch this now so while I'm crafting, <clears throat> it'll actually pop up. And I always run XP pots when I'm doing a uh, hell, just because uh, you get 600% extra, what is it? Uh, you get 600% extra experience points, which is actually really nice. Let's see, that is that. The max is 45 on that. I'll find a better one later on. But right now, I just want to get the 45%, 45%, perfect. I actually want to add... Where is it? Is there a prefix or suffix that gets mana? I don't remember, let's find out. Yeah, okay, perfect. So the one we're gonna actually run on it upgrade perfect switch those out I'm actually gonna hold on to that but now I have 45% extra crit damage just based off that so that's nice um, now we're gonna go into the level and we're gonna fight like a son of a bitch I also have my uh, 
what is it, my potions finally maxed out, so now uh, my potions last longer. Well, not the experience, because it's not affected by it. But, uh, like, my attack speed pie is at 14% extra, or 13% more attack speed, and I'm getting, uh, what is it, I'm able to spam my, because I'm playing active, I'm able to spam my uh, EXP pods every time it comes up. So basically there's no downtime. What the hell is this guy doing? And see, watch what mana arrow does when it comes back up. Boom. Full health mana. So that way I don't have to worry about just the potions alone since I'm playing active. And it also adds 120% more damage to the thing, which is actually really nice. Oh, I gotta shut that off now. So now that I found what I wanna find, I'm gonna shut it off. Arrows, off, fly. Let's see, watch, I would've pro probably found a better one. 45, 45, 45, 45. Now, so we're gonna discard all the low rarity. We're gonna drop that, that. I'm not too worried about what's going on behind the scenes right now because I don't believe anything here could kill me. That's actually pretty good damage. I could upgrade that right there. I could actually do two things to upgrade that weapon right now. You know, that might actually help though. If it can go through. Let's actually see if I can get it to go through because that would actually help out a lot believe it or not. I'm not going to put the... It's like this attack damage I don't care about because what I'm doing is I'm going to be uh, crafting a better attack damage weapon anyways based off of the world I'm actually at. But I don't mind trying to get that because with this weapon, I'm not going to disassemble it. I'm going to be, uh, what is it, wiping it every time I do it and rebuilding it from scratch. Just because it has the blessings on it. And you don't use the lose the blessings when you use the Relic of Reforging on it. So what I do want is this. And let's see if I can get some better damage on it. If I can, awesome. If I can't, then that kind of sucks. But hope for the best there we go that's pretty big for damage so that actually helps me out a lot more so I'll actually be able to do levels a little bit higher all right back to town forgot to switch over to where is that potion at this one right here all right let's get everything going oh my god he just gave me Oh, he is a god. I love him. Does that mean I really have to stay up for the next four fucking hours? And level like a psychopath? So dope. Much appreciated. So not only did I get a pretty big damage upgrade, I and not only did I just upgrade my crit damage, but he just gave us double buffs. The 40% more weapon damage and the, uh, what is it, attribute buff, which is actually pretty big especially when you're doing hell so I might actually stay up and do hell and level up a little bit based off of uh, where I'm at so if you guys don't mind watching a little bit longer of a video then you know that's what we're gonna do it's only 14 minutes in so it's not that long Or I might actually just stop the video because I don't want you guys to see what I am actually doing. So that way you guys steal my secrets for next season. 
I don't know, we'll see. I'll probably end up, uh, during preseason, I'll probably end up doing videos to show you guys exactly what I'm doing in hardcore. So that way you guys can apply it next season and stuff like that. Like, I don't want to show everybody everything I'm doing just because, you know, I am, uh, I am climbing the leaderboard. But I don't mind showing people, like, as much as I'm doing. It's like, I'm quite happy to share secrets and do stuff like that. Like, look at this, I'm melting this full now. Oh, that's so much damage. Hey, didn't even get a chance to launch his stuff out. That's perfect. I wish I had the uh, opals right now. I, I would have added on like an hour of uh, item find or something like that. Item quantity. That would have probably helped out a lot. You got to make sure you're switching that back and forth. You got to make sure you're pressing all your buttons and stuff like that. My Z, my X, my C, and V are on such a uh, short cooldown, but that's why I sit there and run them like that. Because I could just sit there and... Whoop, didn't mean to press R. I could sit there and run QWE, and then I could just spam these. And then every once in a while, make sure those are running, because those are my, uh... What is it? Uh, idle skills. Well, kind of idle skills. Like, potion is active, but... I'm actively pushing the potion while running the other things, if that makes sense. It's pretty huge though, let's see how far I can push hell with all this stuff. I did not mean to do that, but since I did it, I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go back in. And pretty much, how many days do we have left? We have 12 days and 8 hours left, so I gotta make sure I push hard if I really want to get that top 10 spot. And, uh, that, I mean, I'm not that far off from hitting top 10. I only have to get to, what is it, 2AB? I think it is. Yeah, I just gotta pass, uh, I just gotta get 3AB, I'm top 10. You know, and there's a couple people ahead of me as well, so I gotta make sure that I'm pushing just as fast and just as hard as they are. But I don't want to show what I'm doing right now, so people start respecting it, and, or, you know, they respect their character into it and stuff. Because a lot of people at this point should have the majority of all sets, if they're set hoarders like I am and stuff, and they could easily copy what I'm doing. But as soon as it hits preseason, then I will show people what I'm doing and how I'm pushing so hard and how I'm pushing such high levels and so on and so forth. Because you could do the same thing with Vitality and uh, Life. It's just when you do it with Vitality and Life, you want to make sure... I'll, I'll explain it during preseason, not right now. This video is about hell, so we're going to be using this video for hell. Nothing further. And I want to try and get to sleep within the next, like, 40 minutes, 40, 45 minutes. Latest I can fall asleep is by 5, or 3 a.m. So, we'll see how I feel. But yeah, guys, if you like this kind of stuff, you know, please do subscribe. It, you know, this, uh, the subscriptions and everything, they keep me motivated to keep making the videos and keep helping out the community and everything like that. And, you know, it's like, I know I say it a lot and stuff, please subscribe, but, you know, that's kind of what I'm doing is to get subscriptions so that way I can continue. Like, I feel appreciated for doing these videos when you guys do it, so... You know, I mean, it's the least I can ask for. I'm not asking for much more than that, except for, like, the comments, because I'm also curious on what you guys want to see, what you guys need help with, and so on and so forth. It's like, if you guys have ideas about what you want to see, if you have questions, concerns, anything like that, I'm more than happy to answer them. You just gotta let me know, so that way I can make a video on it for you. And I will post the video to YouTube because it could be a question other people have too, you know? It's like, we're a community, we're supposed to be helping each other, and next season, the guild, like the top guilds and stuff are being implemented into stuff too, so that's actually gonna be really fun. So you wanna make sure you get like a part of a guild and stuff like that, or at least that's what's in the talks, what's in the works and stuff like that. So you wanna make sure you get a guild and everything and be able to push that way as well. But there's a lot of fun stuff coming up on here, so please subscribe, and I'll make sure I do my best to always post a video. 
sometimes I go probably a couple days without posting one, and I feel bad about it because I know a lot of the community looks forward to the videos and stuff, but it's like I do have a life outside of Nordicandia. I hate to say it, but, you know, I do love this game. I enjoy it very much. I idle the ma or I farm, like, the majority of time when I'm not actively playing. Then, I, you know, I'm idle purifier, uh, purifier farming and stuff like that, so... And please let me know if the music is too loud, because I'm trying to find a sweet spot for the music, and it's kind of hard, because some people are saying, oh no, the music's perfect, some people are saying, oh no, the music's too loud, and so I'm trying to find, like, that happy medium for everybody. And I like to play music while I play, too, because it gives me something to listen to in the background, because I don't... You know, it's like I'm sitting here making a video talking to myself pretty much. I'm not talking to like a chat. I'm not talking to this. I'm not talking to that. What else do I have going on here? So I have a random ring still I can do. These should be Nephilim portals. Uh, I scroll down here. I actually pull that. I can use this tomorrow when I'm leveling up. Um, I don't use defense potions. Two-handed weapon I'm going to keep for later on to get a uh, high level... Uh, what is it? A high level uh, thing. Because uh, the season rewards, if you don't know, the season rewards scale with the highest level you're on. So if you keep these weapons, like these leggings and so on, or, you know, anything like this, the highest level you go to is the highest level you can pull them from. And I'm not really using blues anymore. I could probably pull all the blues. I'm uh, mass hunting uh, for... Uh, I'm mass hunting for uh, S pluses now. <laughs> but, um, it's like I accidentally, uh, I felt so stupid earlier. I had uh, my uh, full set of Marauders done, and I accidentally disassembled. I It's like I was doing the mass disassembler or whatever and, uh, at the disassembler, and I accidentally disassembled the boots. <laughs> And that was the last pieces, uh, piece I needed for it, and I felt so stupid because I could have started pure, pure farming with a full Marauders tonight, and that right there would have skyrocketed me on S pluses and stuff like that. And I feel just eh, for not doing. I'd even upgrade. I'd even move that right there. That's funny. And yes, it seems easy what I'm doing, but I have a lot of resistances. I got a lot of stuff helping me out. Plus, I'm attacking very fast. It's like I should be pushing closer to him when that pops up. My sh uh, it's like my uh, force field is on a two-second uh, cooldown to heal. Look at that. Nice little S plus right there. It's actually a pretty good drop for this. I'm looking for uh, CDR ones, so I'll be re-rolling that for CDR. And if you don't know what CDR is, it's the cooldown reduction. Because I need to get all cooldown reduction, so that way I can get this first little thing right here down to at least a 5 second cooldown. I, the lowest, I, it's like if I could get it to a 3 second cooldown, it means I can have it up at all times. You know, it's just spamming the buttons and stuff like that. Set some BN. I need the movement thing, because I want to get to the end as fast as possible. But yeah, this is going to be the only video I make tonight, but I wanted to run hell with the actual microphone and stuff. You guys got to kind of be careful when you come in here, because hell is fire damage. So you want to make sure you do have high fire resistance and stuff like that. Um, the minions, I believe, do physical damage. Uh, you don't want to get swarmed by them, because if you get swarmed by them, then you end up getting trapped by them. And you, if you've noticed in Hell, she's doing like that huge AoE when she becomes half health. She shoots fireballs at you and stuff, and it does do a lot of damage. But at the same time, let's get some damage. But at the same time, like, that damage, it, it, over time, it starts to really, really hurt. Like, I'm on Hell 5 right now, and it seems like I'm shredding her and stuff. But it's going to get to a point to where she's going to start shredding the shit out of me. And so I'm going to have to TP out of the level and TP back in. But as of right now, 
it's like I'm attacking so fast and my damage is just really, really good right now. Especially after that blue upgrade I just did. Which is really nice. And what's funny is my uh, purifier is actually stronger than my main weapon right now. Well, it's not stronger, but it has a higher uh, level essence on it. That gives it uh, 2 million to like 4 million damage. And it's only an orange essence that's... What is it? Six times my level? Seven times my level? Something like that? But yeah, it's pretty cool. And I'm gonna fully upgrade the purifier. It's just I'm actually in a hurry now because I need to level up and I need to get to where I need to get. And once I get... What is it? I need five things for my... Uh, I need five things for my bow. I need to get a new uh, increased weapon physical damage, which I have as soon as I turn level 6.65B, or 6.65A. 6 uh, um, I need to get another flat damage. I need to get more increased critical strike chance, increased total attack speed, and, 66, or, and I need to get higher increased attack speed. And once I do that, then I will uh, use that relic thing, wipe the whole entire weapon, and rebuild it from scratch. And then you guys will see how high my attack speed actually gets. And if you're rendering, no, I'm not running active on the uh, quick draw because the active on the quick draw actually lowers it down to two seconds. And from two seconds, uh, two seconds, it's absolute crap and it immobilizes you so you actually can't move like you see how much damage she's doing to me now but i'm actually matching her in damage which is actually really nice so i can kill her i just gotta play smart and gotta make sure i tp out just in time so i'll tp out wait a couple seconds and go back in oh. We don't want to get, we want to make sure we get as close as possible to her. Because my AoE is going to burst these guys down. And while she's doing that, I'll heal my shield. So now I'm actually pretty safe doing what I'm doing. But I got to make sure that I TP out and I don't make a mistake and accidentally die here. But this might be the last time I could possibly fight her. Maybe. Maybe I could keep on going. And how much longer do I have on my... I have three minutes left, so I'm not going to be able to run this in three minutes. So I'm probably going to have to just hop out and add another one. Which is nothing wrong with that. But did you see how much damage she just did to me? Holy hell. My defenses are still good. I got to make sure I upgrade this now. So pretty much all my, uh, every stat I get right now, because my damage is good enough, I, every stat I get right now needs to go straight into that. And I might even switch over to uh, crit damage on my weapon. So I would have increased critical strike chance, increased crit damage, and then just a really high uh, increased attack speed. Because you gotta think, I have enough attack speed anyways. Why would I want any more attack speed? You know, I just I just like attack speed. I like watching it and how fast it shoots and stuff. I just think it's really cool. I'm hyper addicted to how fast you can shoot. That's always been me in like any game you can play. Like if you any of you have ever played Ragnarok and stuff, when you can just max out agility and your dude's sitting there like the numbers are just flying and everything like that. It's just hella dope. It's like I'm gaining decent uh, experience points here because I came here at 1.07 AA and I'm at 1.27 AA. So I've come to that conclusion just to ride and be so you know, and then once again, you know, guys, subscribe and everything like that. And let me know what you would like to see in the comments. If you need help with stuff, let me know. 
you know, like the video, let me know in the comments what you would like to see, what you need help with, if there's anything you're interested in. Because during preseason, I'm going to be doing like speed running to 10k and stuff like that. And, you know, just kind of messing around and everything when I'm not sitting there farming opals and stuff like that. So there's going to be a lot of videos dropping right after preseason starts. And preseason is supposed to be anywhere from like 8 to 10 days. It could be a little bit longer, it could be a little bit shorter. I don't know, but that's what we're getting right now. Last pre uh, last preseason only lasted like 8 days because we all voted for the new season to start. I'm looking forward to seeing what Ubik has. When Ubik ends up releasing the uh, patch notes and stuff, I'll do a whole entire thing on what's new, what's not, and, you know, we'll learn together on what the new season has to bring. In this world, I love I'm sure they'll do fine without me. But yeah, this is pretty much about it. When you're doing hell, the only thing you have to watch out for is just not get one shot by hell. You don't want to die here. Well, I don't want to die here because I'm in hardcore. You people in softcore could just buy your way back in with opals and stuff like that and keep trying. Me, I have to be very careful because hell happens to do a lot of damage to me. So there we go. We're going to upgrade that. And we're going to see if I can survive. Look how much damage she's doing. Holy hell. The damage actually ain't that bad right now. I'm going to have to TP out after I beat her ass for a little bit longer. I want to get as close as possible before I TP out though. Alright, so my when I TP back in, I have five seconds before the TP's back up, so I gotta pray to God she doesn't freaking kill me within those five seconds. Two, one, okay, I'm perfectly fine. I wanna get this pot. Oh. Pop those out. Luckily, I am attacking as fast as I am, or else this would be such a pain in the ass. going to TP out because I just don't want to play dangerously. TP back in. Kill everything possible and then go right back on her. I want to stay as close as possible because I don't want to end up getting caught in the fiery ring death thing like I'm doing right now. So I'm going to TP out because I almost died. As soon as I get back in, I'm going to right click directly on top of her. Perfect. Now my uh, thing should start. Uh, nope, it's not because there was one minion up. Fuck. Right, this ain't too bad. Okay, perfect. So I'll heal up my force field all the way. And there we go. That is hell. Six should be done. Oh, shit. Yeah, TP out. I'm gonna take so much damage right now, it's stupid. Oh, I didn't. I was able to actually get ahead of it. It's almost dead though, which is really good. As it gets farther, oh my god, it gets completely insane on what happens. Four, three, two, one. And this is a this is something you could do in softcore too, with the uh, jumping in and out of the uh, battle. So that way you don't like accidentally like do too much and kill yourself. This is just one of the simple strats and stuff. And yeah, it looks like you're playing like a baby, but if I die, I die, and then. It's like I have no reason to push for the rest of the season. Even though I do have 14 days, I could do uh, something like, Jesus, that is so crazy. Seven. The, the experience points I'm about to start gaining from seven are absolutely nutty. And as you get further, it gets even more and more nutty. So my damage is still good, so all I'm going to be doing is upgrading my force field. As we go on, I wasn't actually expecting to go over 30 minutes in hell this time, but I'm at hell 7 right now. We'll check the leaderboard for hell today after I get done uh, running hell.
Remember, for my build, I'm actually doing this with a full sword set. No, I could actually upgrade something here. <clears throat> I think I have a blue. You know, before I fight her again, I'm actually going to go see if I can upgrade any of my uh, flats on my uh, armor. What is that? It's an orange, and I just built this one. Did I just build this one? No, I didn't. Which ones did I just build? I built the hat. Yeah, okay, so I just built this one. I built this one. So I'm going to see if I have any more I can add on to. Like, where would it be? Where would it be a good place? That right there is actually really good. Um, not my gloves. I could probably add force field into this, and then the total force field from these would actually take over. Uh, total force field. Can I actually probably rebuild my whole entire belt real quick, too? <clears throat> Before I go back in, reroll a whole new belt. Actually, that's what I'll do right now because I have the time and I have to reset that anyways. So let's grab a new belt. Let's do a little crafting in this video. Right here. This belt is from 12.3. I think the belt I'm wearing is from 6.8. So yeah, it's perfect time. So I'm actually going to disassemble this belt. Let's see. Do I have anything worth keeping on it? Not really. Oh, I got the strength one back. That's pretty good. I'll keep all these. So now we're going to actually rebuild a belt real quick. Put it over here, right? Yep. So let's rebuild the belt. Grab those. Grab those. We're going to grab some hammers. We're going to grab uh, da, da, that. And... I think I'm just going to use that. I'm not gonna do anything crazy. So first things first is I want to see the belt. I have nine percent more fire damage. I want to get that to twelve. Oh man, that was dumb of me. Okay, that's fine though. At least it picked up on the secondary. And I don't even know if the twelve percent more uh, weapon fire damage helps. I'm just this right here. It says your auto attacks become fire arrows and deal 149% of weapon damage as fire. So weapon damage as fire. So I don't even know if it helps, but it probably doesn't. But I mean, why the hell not? I'm running a sword set anyways. Might as well play with it, right? So what I'm looking for here is some magic vine, uh, CDR, and uh, strength and mind power, if possible. There's a strength. Strength, fire res, that, and dexterity. You know, I could actually run it that way. Dexterity's not a bad idea. That's actually a really good roll, too. But the thing is, is if you look at my, um... If you look at my advanced stats, my lowest one happens to be... Oh, one of my lowest is fire and lightning. So, yeah, I guess fire is perfectly fine. Yeah, so I'll... I, okay, cool. I got really lucky with this roll. Uh, I want mind power, though. Let's see, how, many of my, how much does my gear have dex? Too much. Okay, it has to be mind power, so I gotta roll it. Damn, that was almost perfect, too.
But yeah, this is how you would pretty much roll. Like, if you're crafting and stuff, you, you would try to find anywhere from two to four um, things. I use these renewals. These renewals right here, the enchanted relics, you use on portals. And I got a shit ton of those. I should probably start using them just to roll higher essences and stuff. Don't want cold res. I have enough cold res. Fire res is good. Strength, force field, boom. Alright, this is much better because now the next two things I add on to it. This, and you actually want to put this in because it changes it to 1-2%. to 2 So that way you can actually possibly save on some durability. So now... We're gonna do some crafting. I want to make sure that everything, let's see, 5.2% uh, shorter cooldown. Don't I have a better one anywhere? That's okay, I'll upgrade that later. Yeah, that's fine. Mind power, 124. I'm reaching out for arms, I'm drowning in That right there I'm gonna save Cause that I don't wanna put on the belt That's high for where I'm at right now I'll put one weaker on the belt Do I have one lower? Sad, there's actually a couple more things I want to see if I can upgrade real quick. My evidence you once really cared. This one I could actually white. Actually, let's see, what is it? One nine. Let's remake that. I have another shoulder, I think. A little bit more crafting and then we'll move back on to fighting hell. I think I have a shoulder piece. Yeah. Twelve one, perfect. And also, there's certain stats on set items that increase the stronger the set item is. Like, like this one's tier twelve one. It gives me a twenty six uh, percent increase total attack range versus this right here giving me twenty percent total attack range. If you guys see that, so the higher tier, some stats on the bottom portion do end up being a lot better. And let's see, do I have anything worth keeping on here? Not really. We're gonna disassemble this. Keep that, and discard the rest of it. And let's do a little bit more crafting. I love crafting, it's so much fun. Especially when you have like a hell of uh, resources you can go through. Let's see, oh I forgot, was Dex on that? I don't remember if I had dexterity on that. Let's check. How many things have dex? One. Two. I think two having dex right now is perfectly fine. It's reasonable. Alright, so we're looking for... We're looking for mind power. Mind power. Cooldown. And see, if that was just regular force field, if that was just 21% increased force field, that would have been beautiful. But total force field, you put on other items like your rings, total force field, your boots, total force field, gloves, total force field. Um, what is it? And your neck total force field. And your cape. You can put that, but this is how I run my cape. I don't know if you can put total force field on your cape, to be honest. I'd have to go through and play with it again. 
Don't need life regen or else that would have been beautiful. Please force field, force field, that. And let's see what I actually lost. I gotta check my uh, <clears throat> resistances again. Let's see, so 321, 329. 202. I'm gonna put lightning on this. And you know what? Okay, it's already got 5%, so that's perfectly fine there. Uh, where is it? So let's get back to rolling. I don't want magic find on this, but this is my pushing set, so I don't. I, the only thing I want magic find on are things I can afford to put magic find on. This isn't a. This is actually perfect right here, so that's beautiful. This isn't a. This isn't a magic finding set. This is a pushing set. So. At that. that. And since I did that, I actually want to grab my last three of these. Or, or last two, I guess I have now. I'm definitely going to have to do some uh, farming tonight. Sorry for the hiccups, guys. So there's that. Put this over here. And then we're going to grab the highest essences we can, which... What did I say I was going to put on this? Mind power? I definitely want to make sure this goes through. And I want to make sure that this goes through. Alright, now that those have gone through, I can put this on and I can just go through and just start slamming things into it. Uh, another short CDR. And I'll be upgrading this again in a few days, so it doesn't matter if it just has a little bit of CDR or not. And then what I say, lightning. Okay, everything I just upgraded should greatly increase. Yeah, 141.49 AC now, so that's perfect for me. Um, I'm gonna keep the pants because the pants are on that. I wanna roll that to strength or mind power. Um, we're gonna go over here. I'm actually gonna pop one of these also, so I'm gonna pop that, I'm gonna pop that. Start out the rest, and you know what's funny? Is I'm still holding on to this. I'll put this here. Alright, let's get back to work, guys. So, town portal, do I got everything? I think I'm at the end. Or, am I at the end? I don't know. So, let's get in here. If I'm near, coming up near the end, I'm not, so. <clears throat> but yeah, my guy's a lot stronger now, so I should be able to survive a little bit longer in here just because I added, what, 70 AC? And I'm not even using, like, the strongest things. Once I get my later on items and stuff, your force field, you get, like, hold on, where is it? For force field, you get, where is it? Like this wrist, the 1.2k percent increased force field. You get up to, like, 6, you get, like, up to 2k percent increased force field as you keep going on it. And it, once you get into the late, late game, oh my god, it's absolutely insane how high that thing is. But it's scaling. If you choose to use it at the start and stuff, it does take a while to get it online. But once you do get it online, oh, it's so well worth it. Let's see, where am I fighting at? It's 15-6, so I actually want to turn on my... Where is it? Orange filter here. Physical damage. Increase force field, force field. That. And the reason I have increased force field and stuff on is so that way it finds all armors that consist of that so because i can roll those to uh flat force field all right let's 
let's go. Let's see how much damage I take. Oh yeah, I'm getting my ass beat really fucking fast. TP out. Ooh, this is so risky what I'm doing. Get in and run directly at her. Get as close as possible so that way I can start blowing up everything. If you notice the things messing me up the most right now are these little freaking creatures. And I'm starting to glance so I might have to get some uh... I got a TP out. No, I got 100%. Why am I glancing? So we'll pop more into this because I need as much as possible there. Get back in there and start fighting again. I think we're doing pretty good, guys. Chill for a minute. There's no hurry. Don't be in a hurry, guys, because you want to make sure you want to get as high as possible in these damn levels because the experience points you gain in here are just so nutty, especially once you start getting later on and stuff like that. so I can get close to her. There we go, I should heal. Yeah, I heal some of my force field. I'm gonna get close to her real quick, do that, and then I'm gonna, oh shit, she ran. It's actually really bad for me with how much HP she has because if she de decides to do that, oh, I got lucky, okay. Blow all these guys up. And she's gonna be summoning them like crazy now. I gotta TP out. Ooh, this is so dangerous. I wonder if I can just get in. Uh, I need to kill these. Okay, I should heal up my force field all the way. Come on, come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go. Okay, she's close enough to me. That's perfectly fine. If I can kill that guy, I can kill, heal a little bit of my force field. Nice, we're wiping her. That's kind of nutty, actually. Okay, and we're gonna be TPing out again, even though, yeah, I, I, she is almost dead. It is better to be safe than sorry at this point. So we're doing it, we're doing it though. You know, it's pretty wild. And I am gonna end up fighting her again. Because every time I come back here, I'm gonna have more force field. Especially with the amount of experience points I'm gaining right now. There we go. Hell 7 is done, on to Hell 8. Number two on uh, the Hell leaderboard, and I'm only at 15-7, imagine. The amount of experience points I'm gaining right now are absolutely insane. And it's getting to the point to where these guys are even starting to mess me up. Yeah, thank god I actually went and upgraded. I did turn that filter on, right? The orange filter?
Okay, guys, I wasn't expecting the video to be this long. I'm sorry. But once again, you know, if you like the content, you like what you're seeing, please subscribe, comment, all the fun stuff. Let me know what you guys would like to see. And let me know if the music is too loud. You know. It's like I said, I'm trying to find the perfect setting for it, and I can't just because my headphones sound different than what it would sound like live and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? The amount of experience I'm gaining just from these few monsters and stuff is so high. And the reason I preemptively press these right here, like my Z, my X, my C, and everything, is because you never know, like, where the monster's gonna be, especially if you're running high range, like I am. I started, what I say I started this at? At 1.07 AA. I'm at 1.74 AA. It's actually a really good run. I think I have more movement speed pots. I can go to town after this and check. And it's so dangerous what I'm doing, especially fucking playing in hardcore. Uh, it's kind of nervous, but, you know, I think I'm doing pretty good. My attack rating is still... Oh, my attack rating kind of sucks, actually. My damage. I'm gonna pop some damage in that. I should have used it on freaking uh my uh shield, but it's all good. Yeah, that was actually kind of dumb not to use it on the shield. Music kind of suits fight in hell too. I'm gonna let you know though, if I am taking way too much damage, I will teleport out and I will say goodbye at that point because I do not plan on losing this character. I want to try and get top 10, like I said, in this role as well. If I can get top 10 in both roles, I will be a very, very happy person. Switch over to that. Alright. Because we're at the end anyways. Alright, let me see. 15. 15 still high. I want to hit more often though. Alright guys, wish me luck. <sighs> breathe, breathe, breathe. Okay. Let's see the type of damage that I take here. The damage is way too high. I can't do it any further. But anyways, guys, that is hell. Would I finish it on? I am tied for... He got to te uh, death 10, but he's also the highest level person. And he also switched over to this. That's funny. He's running total... running a lot of total force field. I don't know. Anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Um, let me shut the music off for a second. You know, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for checking everything out. Please be sure to subscribe, comment, like. Let me know everything you'd like to see going forward. And... I hope you all have a great night. Just remember, keep on grinding.